Hello Paper Crafters and welcome to my um, newest video. I'm, in this one I'm going to show you the new Nelly Multi Frames that I have in. This is number um, 11 and it's the circle and I'll be showing you the different things you can do with this circle. And one of the things I want to, uh, if you want to see how to use these dies um, in your machines, go to my blog and there's some tutorials on how to cut the Nelly multi frames. Especially, uh, there's one in the cuddle bug for sure showing the different other dies. And I believe there's another one in showing that in the Epic. And the one tip I wanted to give you is that when you put the dies, so sometimes you'll want to cut out the uh, Joy Crafts makes this magnetic. Um, shim that you can use. It's made especially for the cuddle bug and it does work with these dies and what's nice is these aren't going anywhere. Uh, once they're stuck you can put your paper not having to worry about them shift while you're trying to get a nice even cut because sometimes when you cut you notice the circle goes like that and it off kilters. So that makes it nice. One bit of advice I did notice that with the Nelly dies because um, this is a Joycraft product, the magnetic mat um, you have to put a couple of shims of paper on here to get it to cut correctly. So real quickly, with the number 11 die, the circles, I just wanted to show you some of the things I created with the circle. That's just a frame on the outside. There's kind of like a flower. There's a pattern of a flower inside a circle. And you can get this by combining all these dies. There's another one, a smaller size, another circle, littler circle, a flower, a flower within a flower, um, a circle within a flower. And remember, you can also um, layer these. You don't have to put the circle in. You could put the circle a different color into the whole flower is a nice effect too. I like to layer. But this just shows you all the different possibilities and there's there's way more than I did because uh, there's so many dies. I believe with the circle you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dies. Uh, go to my blog to see the prices for these dies. I am selling them. Uh, I don't put the prices on my videos anymore because it's hard to keep them updated with the prices going up. This is number 12. It's the square. And please, when ordering, make sure you give me the number 12 because there is another square in the Nelly multi frames and I don't want to send you the wrong square. So this is number 12. And there's some really neat things here. We have this right here. I put the square inside of that frame. And here's another one that's kind of smaller. And then the shape inside the square and then here's some more these are just the plain solid cutouts and then I did some more with the inside the square and this I kinda I like that effect I kind of off balanced one of the centers and 90 degrees and it made that way here's some of the plain squares you get also here is uh, I like those for the outside of cards to make the borders tiny little square, uh, a bigger square. This one would be nice for a background on a card, a bigger square. And there are, um, you can see through these dies when you take them apart, they just don't, um, as you can see, you can get all these different combinations. And the nice thing with these dies is you do not have to cut them. They are all cut for you and come separate. So unlike the other Nelly dies where we had to cut them apart, she's gotten smart. She improves all the time and she just they come all separate. You don't have to cut them. So this is how it comes packaged with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dies in there. Nice package. And then we have number 13, which is the oval. Again, this is number 13. And this has one, two, three, four, five, six dies in this one. And I'll show you some of the combinations I made with the oval. 
again. There we go. Just some various things. That one is the center. That's a nice one to stamp on, I think. This one shows the reverse image. And then we have this size oval with the smaller oval. And again, if you make these in different colors, you can layer them very nicely. Another kind of the cloud shape one, another size oval. This is just some of the, all of the different possibilities you can get. If you go to my um, blog and see the pricing on these, you're going to be very surprised how reasonable these are for all that you get. This one's really nice. I like that one a lot. I would probably just cut this solid, put the oval in there, and make a really nice uh, rubber stamped image for that. And again, I like these for the for cards uh, to make a window card. Those work really nice. And then the last one, the last new one we have, is number 14. This is the rectangle. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six dies in here. And I'll show you some of the things we can get with this. Okay. We have putting these two inside each other. You get that. Here's a little rectangle you can get. There's just the, one of the plane that it cuts it out. There's one of the rectangles. This is the reverse image, kind of to make the window card. There's another one, I think, a good one to rubber stamp on. Another rectangle. And remember, you can see through these dies very nice, so you can line up squares to cut out things that you might have a pattern paper, for example, and on that pattern might be a flower, and you want to cut that flower part of it out. You can see exactly where you're placing this die um, and use a little bit of uh, removable tape to get that to go where you want and it won't move. Here are some more of the images you get with this die. I always like to show some of the windows you can get. It's a nice frame. Good for a photograph and then you could cut the photograph out with that rectangle die. And here's the big rectangle with the reverse image and then there's another frame. So again, a lot of uses for these dies. Um, very reasonably priced. I think you'll be very happy with them. Nellie always improves her product every time we get it. So please um, just email me with your orders. Go to my blog, see the prices. My email's on my blog too. And visit my blog for other uh, great products from the Netherlands that you can get. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave, feel free to leave a comment. I always appreciate things to help me improve. Thank you, and have a great day. Bye-bye.